Yo, what's up, family? We back here today again. We're doing a little cooking adventure today. Preparing some lovely dishes this time. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Let's go. All right, chef, what we have prepared here today? So what's up, guys? We're back again at another one. Cooking adventure again. So today we have a, a lot going on here. So today we make some sweets and also some salt. So today we're making some um, black egg cake and some pine tart and some baigani. So as, as you can see, I have everything set up here already. And, and some salara, some, some people say red bread or red cake. You can say whatever you want. So I, I get, get all my ingredients here, butter, yeast, Grind gingers, all the spices here, colorine, some salt, baking powder, nutmeg. And this is here for the bagani. I get this colorine mix here for the, um, the colorine. And I have another special dish coming up. I'm going to show you guys that in the end. There's a, a special menu, someone request. <laughs> I'm going to do that in the end. So I got my flowers here. So in the meantime, I'm going to start peeping my flowers. And I'm going to... Um, let it set a little bit in the fridge so it can be nice and crisp free for the black eye and um the point are the for the for the salara i'm gonna do a different mixture of the flour so see you guys when i start to do the mixture so guys i'm gonna start mixing up my flour here now i add my um butter like a half a spoon of butter i mean a half a cup of butter probably like four cup of flour probably another half half a cup shortener that's what make the um the the dough for the for the black and the pine tart like soft and crispy at the same time so i'm adding this here i'm gonna mix up this very well so guys as you can see i finish um mix up the butter the flour here so it has to be nice and loose see what the main key of mixing this here you have to add ice cold water into the flour to get it like like flaky that's the main key it has to be ice ice cold water if you don't have ice cold water it's not gonna be like like crispy and you don't want to knead it too much you just want to mix all together if you need it too much it's not gonna be flaky so as you can see guys i already kneaded my dough here you see how it's loosey here already I'm gonna let it sit in the fridge probably like an hour, hour and a half. So it can be cool and ready to roll it out. So that's the way it's still flaky. So I'm gonna leave this in the fridge and I'll put my black eye to boil in the meantime. I'm gonna cover up this and leave it in the fridge probably an hour, hour and a half or so. So guys, now I'm gonna put my pineapple to boil. I'm gonna add all my um, my flavor stuff inside. Some essence, vanilla essence, some brown sugar. Some cinnamon stick. Some grind cinnamon. Some grind nutmegs. Turn this up. This has to boil. Guys, why my pineapple is boiling? I'm gonna let me um mango boiling for the um for the bagani in the meantime. Everything so this is gonna boil in the meantime. I'm gonna prepare the, the dough in the meantime for the um for the salara or the red bread. So let this boil in the meantime. So guys now I'm prepared um a dough for the salara is a different mixture. This has to be like soft. So guys I'm adding the dry yeast. This is not a water activation one. This one you can add it, it's activated by itself. Yeah, 
and this is the brand of the yeast I'm using. This one is, you don't need to add it in the water, it's a dry, dry yeast. So guys, for the dough for the, um, the salara, I'm adding lukewarm water. We didn't need the, um, you don't need the, the, the cold water for this because this has the yeast in it. This has to stay outside from the fridge because that's the rice. So as you can see guys, you already know when the um, dough is, is fully kneaded, it's not sticking. So I'm gonna cover this and leave it like a half an hour until you rise. In the meantime, prepare the, um, all the other stuff for the black eye and the point star. So guys, now I'm gonna start preparing my baigan to make the baigani. I'm gonna um, start slicing it. Not too thin, like a half an hour. Half an inch thick. And this is a nice bag, and there's no seed in this bag. See, look, guys, look. No seed, it's very young. Drop a comment below how you guys making your bag. This is the way how I'm making it, I don't know. Everybody making their one different way. This is my way, how the way how I learned to make it. Everybody make it their way, you know. So this is my way. So guys, check check this out. The pineapple is boiling here. It's in the middle of the process. The pineapple was a little bit green, but well, it's okay. I like the pineapple to be like like chunk in the in the pan. You don't want it like too watery. I mean, in the dough, you don't want it too watery. So when you when you bite bite the um, the pine tart, you bite a piece of the the pineapple. So it's in the middle of the process there. Take a look of the um, the mango sauce. This is for the, um, the baigani. Oh, uh, looking good. Eh? You can smell the flavor of the pine and the cinnamon and the nutmegs and everything in the, in the pineapple here. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna start to prepare the, um, the polari mix for the, um, for the baigani, I use this whole bag here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna chip some shallot inside of the polar remix. Also, I'm chipping some cilantro in the um, polar remix. Not too fine, so when it's on the when you bite the the bike and you you can you can bite the salad the um the shallot and the the bandana. Also add some ground garlic and pepper already there blending together. Also gonna add some lukewarm water inside. So guys, the polar remix is ready to go already. I'll let it sit a little bit. By the time I'm checking on the other um, ingredients, the black eye and the, um, the pineapple. See what's going on and get back to you. Right now I'm gonna um, prepare my coconut for the um, for the salara. Add in my sugar. 
don't forget guys the main ingredient for this coconut for this for the salad is the the fresh great ginger that's the main main ingredient here add some nutmeg some cinnamon ground cinnamon and some spice stick Also add some milk inside guys. So boil the coconut a little bit. I'm not adding water, add the milk to get the richness into the coconut. Wait a minute. Add some some of my red color in. Let's give this a quick turn up here. You can smell the flavor of the ginger here and the spices already. How are you looking there, Nick? I'm good. Looking good there. As the coconut is done here already, I'm gonna take it out and let it out and let it cool down. Then I'm gonna fill the dough with it. Then I'm gonna let it bake. This, this is done here. The bars here also is done already. I'm gonna take this out too. How you looking there? How you looking there? Good, good, good. So guys, the, the black egg is finished boiled. I'm gonna spray it right now. Then I'm gonna mash it up. Check it out. So guys, um, the pine is finished here, ready for the, uh, for the dough. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit. Then I'm gonna start with the filling process. All right, all right. You know, I get a black eye for the black egg cake. I start mashed up the black egg. I'm gonna put some brown inside to give it a little color. And some more spices inside. Sounds good, sounds good. All right, guys, we just add a little browning sauce here. So it's taking its shape right now, its color. So guys, I got my oil hot there. I'm gonna start frying my baigani. I'm bothering it here. I'm gonna start frying one by one. How them baby just look in there, Ash? Golden brown. Amazing. Real nice. <coughs> this is not like the one you buy on Liberty Avenue, you know. This is homemade. This is homemade. Check it out, guys. This is the real deal right there. Remember, guys, the secret ingredient to cooking is always love. It's the love. It's the love. That's the main, main ingredient. So guys, while the, um, the bacon is frying, I have to cool down with something, so cold Guinness out of the freezer, cheers. Not sponsored, guys. <laughs> Rita and Krishna take a big up there. Mm-hmm. Miss America, what are you having over there? Guys, this is for my love, Sophie. She's going to have dinner. It's mac and cheese, guys. <laughs> so guys, check out this golden brown here. Wow, look at that. Check out this here, guys. Check it out. Check it out. Guys, let me tell you one day we're going to have our own cook shop. I'm doing catering too, guys. If you want, <laughs> if you're interested, I want to leave my phone number in the bottom so you guys can contact me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not for free. Not for free. It's free. It's free. Free? Free. Free? It's all about the love, you know. It's all about the love. That's only for cooking. Everything is about love, you know. No hatred, no hatred. Yeah, guys. 
So let's just hear it and make you feel more so it's not like it's just for the love, you know. Yep. I check out the, check out the goodness here man this is the real deal the real goodness right here golden brown tasty everything I'm talking about bigani talking about bigani like this real good guys real good Guys, you remember I told you I have a special dish coming up? Nasha I'm request this dish first. Yeah, guys. It's um, shrimp, butter with um, the butter mix. Nasha request this, this, um, this dish first. Yep. First time trying it, we're gonna see how it comes out. But it looks amazing already. Yeah, guys, looking, it's looking good. Can't wait to try it. First time I'm trying this recipe here. Mm -hmm. not, not, this is not nice recipe. Now nice, so let's try it out. Yeah, of course, of course. Looking amazing here, guys. Look. Nice. Nice. Do the best. Of course, of course. This looks delicious here, man. I know, right? Let us, give us any recipes down below guys, any foods we should try, you know, restaurants, you know, any recipes. But this look amazing here, Ars. I never thought about this, how you come up with this idea? I don't, I don't know. How did I come up with this idea? I don't know, you tell me. There was a chef in your first life? Maybe, maybe. But this look amazing here, look, look at this guys, look. <laughs> So you can get fresher than this. Hmm. Nice. The recipe come out. You did. You did great from this recipe. Uh huh. Here. Uh huh. It's tasting good, guys. Almost eat out all. First time, guys, you have to try this. This new recipe here. First time, try trying it. Try it out. It's amazing. Check it out guys, check it out. Nice and crispy inside, look. Mm -hmm. Oh, delicious. Amazing. Can't get fresher than this. So guys, for the process of the, um, the pine tart, it's ready filled out. I'm gonna put it in the oven now. The oven is already preheat 350. This is gonna take probably like 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna check it out. I'm gonna put this in here. So now we're gonna do the process of a black eye. I'm gonna show you that when I fill it out. All right, guys, we got Miss America rolling out the dough. Okay, guys, so check it out the goodness here. I already filled the black eye, the black eye cake. Check out the goodness there. I'm putting it. Put it in the oven now, 15, 20 minutes. Should be ready to go. Let's check, let's check up on the pine tart. How's it looking there? Let's take a look at the pine tart. Pine tart looking amazing here. Check it out, guys. Check it out. Yeah. Smell, smell the freshness in there. <laughs> the flavors. You guys to know the process of the red bread. Check it out guys, check it out. There's some spices here, I'm going to take it out. How to spread this out in the dough. Check the goodness out here in the end. Where you can go around. Not bake it, but you can smell the flavor already. Mm, of course. I'm going to fire good guys. I'm doing volunteer too. Mm-hmm. 
Look at this. You smell that? Yeah. This doesn't look good. No. <laughs> you don't like it? Sophie, how does that look? Delicious, right? What? Yes, really? That's because you never have it. They have to fold it for the, the coconut stay in their layers, you know? Check out the goodness here, guys. It's amazing. All right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We have the same stuff. Okay. Okay guys, so the two loaves of um, red bread is ready to go in the oven there. Also like 15-20 minutes, we we'll check it out back. Give you guys a review. Alright, alright. So check this out guys. Fresh out of the oven. Check it out guys, if you look like a professional. Check this out here. Check this out here. Real professional style here man, check it out. Well, then off the tray, right off the oven. Looks delicious. You gotta do the taste test in a moment. All right, all right. Check this out in here. Damn! Damn. Damn. Check it out, check it out, check it out, guys. Check it out. Give it a few minutes more. Damn! Okay, guys, check this out. The red bread slash salara is finished. Check out how you look amazing there, guys. Amazing man, beautiful. Couldn't get better than this. Yup. This is, I'm gonna be trying the first set of the pine tart and black eye. This is a quick taste test cause I gotta go to an event now. So let me give the black eye a test real quick here. Cheers everyone. Damn, there's a lot of filling there. Or with my black eye, I never see this much filling in a black eye. Mmm. I can really taste that vanilla essence and stuff too. And then, I'm gonna try the pine tart now. Ooh. Alright. Get a piece of this here. Oh, yeah. Check out that pineapple fill in there. See that? This is better than them little shops on Liberty Avenue. I'll take this over them. So, I'm about to head out now. Everybody else is going to try it together when I leave. So, I'll catch you on the next video. Alright guys. So, as you can see, we have everything dished out here. We have the red bread, the fried shrimps, the bigony, the... Uh, the pine tart and the black eye. Everything is set up here. What do you think, chef? I'm gonna do the taste test now. All right, all right. How's looking, Sophie? Great. All right, all right. So guys, everything is done. Ready to go. I'm gonna do the, the taste test now. See how it came out. First thing first, I'm gonna dig in on this bigani here with some mango sauce and some pepper sauce. How's it? Nice and juicy. Mm -hmm. The bigani, nice and soft. The, um, the bigani is nice and fluffy. Good combination with the mango sauce and the pepper. Super. Amazing. Right. Let's try the bar of shrimps now. The one that you request, Naj. Alright, alright. Mmm. Amazing. 
delicious. Mm. French is amazing, man. Super. Remember, guys, whatever you do, do a hundred percent. Because when you're working, you're working. When you're laughing, you're laughing. When you're eating, eat like it's your last meal. Cheers. Cheers, guys. It tastes like very red and very bread. Personally, I say 10 out of 10. Oh, uh, why are you recording for real? Really? It tastes red and it tastes like bread? Me blur me out. Are you serious? Yeah, I don't know who she thinks she is. She thinks she's really funny. Anyways. Oh. Mm hmm All right, guys. So I got I got the red bread and the black eye here. So I've always had black eye before, but I never I never really liked the red bread before. So let's try it homemade style. Taste there. Mm. Should I give it a tea? Mm. 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 Honest review, honest review. It chokes you like how I. <laughs> no, no, no. Honest review, I give it an a eight. I ate? Yeah. Why is it? Eight because. Um. Right? It's a coconut. I don't. I don't really like coconut. Like coconut. Ooh. Coconut, like. Infused stuff, like bits of coconut. Uh huh. So. But it's good, though. It's good. I like it. But how is it, like, the texture and the taste? Taste is, is amazing. Texture. Texture, I would rate a 10 out of 10. Just the coke, don't you like? Yeah. So how is the black eye? Black eye? The black eye? Let's taste it. Now, this is what I call black eye cake. Delicious. I love it. On honest opinion, it's really good. You know what I'm saying? It's flaky. Mmm. Mmm. It's. I guess it is. Yep. The flicks coming out. Yep. Uh huh. Now. Let's move on to the shrimps. <clears throat> All right. Hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. You gonna try the jalapeno pepper? Not this. Yeah. That's the um, the polaria um, shrimp that you request. Mm hmm. Real good. Nicely cooked. Cripsy, cripsy. Well, well seasoned. Very good. I love it. Overall, I give the, I give this, these dishes, like a nine and a half. Why is it nine and a half? Mm. Is that your kind of food? It is, but. You see, there's no chicken, so. <laughs> so it was a ch if chicken was there, it would be a 10, like a 10 out of 10? Uh -huh, of course. But shrimp, sh the shrimp will have to do it. It's good. I, I love shrimps. Mm -hmm. Right, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like the video. 
and stay tuned for more videos. Peace. I right, think about it, Miss America. Hello, hello, my what? To our wonderful viewers. Well, I had enough to eat, but I'm just gonna taste this salara red bread, whatever you guys call it. I, I already eat two um, pine tarts and two black eyes, so I eat enough. So I'm full, but I'm gonna try this. Mm. Guys, it is good. You can't go down to Liberty Avenue and find anything fresh, homemade of like course. this. It's crunchy, not too sweet. There's the right color, and the texture is really, really good. If you guys, we do do cater it too. In case you guys want to order, just inbox. I'm gonna put my numbers in the comments below. Thank you. You guys have a good night. All right, guys, shout out to Auntie here. She gave us some nice, fresh coconut and mango. Very delicious. Come check her out on 117th Street on Liberty Avenue. All right, guys. So, to support her business, guys. Look, she has a whole bunch of kind of things here. Lamb pudding, all the good stuff. All the good stuff here. Everything you need, she has it. Make sure you come down to us. I got this fresh coconut water from her, guys. You guys can come down and check all right, it out. All right, all right. Have some delicious things. Be tasty. All right, chef. What do you have there? Me and part of the coconut. <laughs> all right, all right. Make sure you guys come check her, check her out, guys. Very nice lady.